Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so very much for joining me. Today I'm sharing some products that were sent to me by Unikeep. Unikeep is a company in Ohio here in the US and they manufacture in Ohio also. If you watch my channel, you know that I turn down a lot of product promotions. This one I, I was really curious, wanted to take a look and I wanna share it with you. So let me show you what they sent me. I looked these up and this is about $20 online. I can definitely see some ways that if you're trying to declutter or if you're a crafter and you're trying to get organized that this stuff could fit into your life or mine. So again, it's Unikeep and I will share that information in the link down below in the description. But let me show you these two. At first glance, I thought, well, that's interesting because they sent me two things that are very similar. But I do love what they sent me because they're quite different and it lets me show you the options. This one is called their Home Organization Book. And you'll notice that these are closed end. So beautiful for sitting up on counters or tossing in and out of drawers or cabinets, not having to worry about anything falling out. They pop open on the side and it didn't hurt my hand. It's not hard to reclip. I mean, it's, it's a good push, but have you ever bought those containers where you can't figure out how to open and close them? I give those away or donate them. I like this. Then it opens up and it's like a giant enclosed binder. This one is white. The other one I'm gonna show you is clear. And look at these, they're plastic. So they don't pinch your hands, they're not coming undone. I also don't think there's any way this is getting caught in the middle. If you watch Cass, Clutterbug, she talks a ton about having like a home organization, kitchen station kind of thing. I have never set one up. And when I saw this, I was like, I should. But honestly, I will either take this apart or use it for craft supplies. Or if one of you that lives within driving distance says, oh, I'd love to have it, we can talk. But what I wanna show you about this is the options that this company provides for us crafters. There may also be art supply potentials, maybe embroidery, that kind of stuff. I think there's some pretty cool things we could do with these because they have so many options for inserts. And their inserts, look at these, they're crystal clear. They're not, I'm gonna say yellowy and gross like many that I have around. The holes in them are nice and large and secured so you can get them in and out easy. And then they have different shaped pockets. I'm just gonna shove some random pieces of paper in so you can see what these are like. So this one has different shapes in the same page. And in these small pockets, we could put smaller embellishments or stickers, different things. So three big rectangles and then a small one. Then they have some nice pocket pages. I will show you this page later, so don't worry. You don't have to read it right now. A couple of pocket pages and then their pocket pages have tabs so you could mark them and flip quickly. This would be great even in my tiny kitchen on the counter upright, closed up next to the fridge. It would, I could wipe it down. I wouldn't have to worry if coffee splashed on it because in my house, that'd be right next to the coffee pot. And you could keep the information that you need, bills to be paid, especially if you're in a household where a babysitter might need information in a hurry. For me, I leave information for my pet sitter. This would be one of the really important places where you could put all the phone numbers and have them and take the quilts and the pets and go to high ground. That's actually a problem we have around here every once in a while. So messages for people in an emergency, grab the binder and go. Okay, let me show you this one because it has the same bones, but different options. So same tabs, really cute cover. You could leave that just the way it is. Then it opens up, it's the same type of rings here, the plastic ones, but notice the whole thing is clear. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And they have different items in this one. These are really cool. They fold over and the top seals. This would be a really neat scrapbook or baby book idea. It would be enclosed, it would be sealed, dust proof forever, and the pages seal at the top, nothing would fall out. 
really neat for keepsakes. Maybe school pictures or I don't know, just something that you wanted to stay in there and sealed up. These are like baseball card pages. We use those for pocket letters. This would also be really good for embellishment. We could take things like this and fill a page. I mean, for me, I could have a whole page of dark blue. The pockets are fairly small, so some things aren't gonna fit. Oh, these little cuties that I'll never be able to get out of the package while I'm crafting anyway. A really nice way to lay them out. Then, because you have the actual box type binder, I don't know if that's a term, they're not sagging. Have you ever put stuff in a binder and then it sags down and the, the bottom gets damaged a little bit here? I think this would also be a nice way to store specialty papers. I keep my specialty papers in an iris case bin and it is a little hard to see. You have to dig through them, you can't find them. Years ago, I kept things in binders, but honestly, I need clear. If I put these all in a binder and put them on the counter, I wouldn't remember they were in there. But if I put them in something like this, and I'm just putting random things in here to show you. You could do whatever. Oh my gosh, look at that. Didn't even know I had that. If you asked me, I would have said no. I'm thinking one of you sent that to me in happy mail. Okay, but then look, this is how I would use this. And this is total personal preference, right? You do whatever you want. This one is clear and it comes with this exterior cute liner. You could pull this out, decorate it any way you want. What I would do is close this up. I might put a label on the end. I don't know why, just in case I shoved it in a shelf like this, but I would leave this on the counter like this. And I think if you filled it, you can't see. If you filled it up a certain amount, it would show better. All of these in the front. And we'll just pop those out of the way for a minute so I can show you. There we go. Pop these closed. So when you had more in there, they would show. That would be inspiration sitting on your counter. This one is not crystal clear, but it is somewhat sheer. Does that make sense? So I can see the blue across the front. Maybe you can too. Anyway, I thought these were pretty cool. I think there's a lot of potential here. Let me show you a totally different idea that I would do with the same one. Now, don't get me wrong. I could use this one, but remember in the world of organization, I'm a butterfly. And if I can't see it, I'm not going to use it. So this sitting on my kitchen counter for home, home organization would work great for me. It's nicely labeled. But if I put cool stuff in it and put it in my craft room, I don't know, my brain, I'd have to cover this up or it wouldn't work. Okay, let me show you my other idea when I saw this. You know that I love making kits for travel or to go to a friend's house or to go on a girl's weekend, whatever. This would be awesome for putting your kit together. You have pockets here. You could swap out. Let me show you their other pocket choices. I think it was on this sheet. They have so many. So you could go on their website and order dividers of all different shapes. Many times as crafters, we have trouble finding dividers exactly like we like. You know that I am completely hooked on using old CD storage methods for ephemera, big tags and decorations. And look, they actually sell eight disc full page. Okay, great. So four pockets on each side of that. That's quite a few. There's a key holder. If you want to have old vintage keys in your mixed media projects, trading cards, that's the one I have here, photo sheet protectors, comic book protector, that's probably a little bit narrower than the ones that I have in my book where the top folds. Uh, oh, they have some with colored edges so you could color code things. All different shapes and sizes. That would really help those of you who are micro sorters. You know I'm a macro sorter, but I just love that they had choices. I also really like this business card one. The stamp and coin sheet protector size, I've seen a lot of you do cute pocket letters and embellishment books with, but also business cards would be handy for us. But my kit idea, this book is thick enough. I call it a book, it's a binder. 
it's a really nice enclosed binder. But if you look at the thickness of it, let's do some measurements. It is mm, about one and a half, which means I have bottles of glue that will fit in this. I can put my Fabri-Tac in there. Look at that. Let's see, can we do it? Yep, I can get my Fabri-Tac in there and it closes. I also have a small bottle of art glitter glue. It's very tattered, right? But it would fit in there just fine. And I don't know about you, but if I'm just gonna put that in there with the pin for a little bit, I would shove it in a Ziploc bag and not worry too much about it leaking. It's not that full anyway. So I could get a bottle of glue, a pair of scissors. I could even bring a roll of adhesive. We'd have a six by six paper pad, embellishments, special layered papers. What else do we need? Ooh, maybe some solid cardstock. I don't know that I'm gonna use gray for my baby cards, but let's just roll with it and see. I think also if you have a smaller paper cutter, it would fit in there. I used to have one and I donated it a long time ago. The ones that are more photo size, it would fit right in there. I just think this is a pretty cool way to pack up your kit and go. More compact than an iris case. Obviously it's not gonna work for 12 by 12. Let me show you. So we're talking eight by eight and smaller. The binder itself is 10 and a half across, but if you were gonna use the rings and put stuff in, you know, you're probably gonna be limited by eight and a half, but you could get something in there that's a little bit long. Does that make sense? Like, I can certainly put my giant scissors in there, not a problem. There are some ideas. This one is the arts and crafts scrapbooking one. I thought this cover was pretty cute too. You could, if you got a bunch of these, of course I like the blue, I could put tape right over this part and have different projects and different ones and have them lined up and they'd be adorable. This would keep your stuff together a little bit better than, you know, sometimes I use job pockets and they get a little tattered and much more compact than an iris case. So maybe this would solve some of my issues because I put stuff that doesn't need a big box into big boxes. I was not aware of these products at all, hadn't heard of Unikeep, and I hope that you have found some interesting ideas here. Maybe it inspired you on storage ideas. I will talk about this stuff again, either in updates or in another video, and show you some other ways that you could customize. Because for me, even though some of these sheets are full size, I could sew across them and make my pockets smaller. And I think I'll keep experimenting with how these will be used in my craft room and I'll keep you updated. Thank you to Unikeep for sending me these wonderful made in the US products. Please support our American companies or companies that are local to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.